People from black communities have poorer health than white people. There aren't enough people from black communities included in health and care research. Health and care research is how researchers try to find out more about health and how it can be made better. And so it's really important that black people are included so they can access new treatments and to be able to understand their needs better. We need to understand how inclusion and participation can be made better to improve the health outcomes of people from black communities. So this research aimed to do that. This research took a co-production approach, which is a way of working in equal partnership, sharing power, and it played an important role in the design, delivery, and the way in which the findings of the study would be shared. I worked with a group of individuals from around the health and care research system who also self-identified as being part of a black community. And it was important to center the voices of black people in this research. And one of the ways we decided to share the findings to make it more meaningful to communities was to work with a poet to create more of a connection between the research and communities. And it brings a real human element to the research and a way of communicating the scientific findings in a non-academic way. The refrain of the hard to reach. Stop referring to us as hard to reach. Like we only come out when the full moon shines. Like our skins like chameleons merge into the background. Like you need a trail of crumbs of hard dough bread and bun. Like we will only rise at night like duppies and rolling carbs to come out and fright. Stop referring to us as hard to reach, as if we're lost in some Bermuda Triangle, as if our magnetic north doesn't exist on your compass, as if sat-navs have not been updated to find our locations as if you're Alice and we can only be found in a winter wonderland. Stop referring to us as hard to reach. You see, there's no need for a new Magna Carta or another white paper. Your walls are already papered. Your floors are already covered. Your ceilings are a whitewashed canvas of all our stories. Just ask Lucius, Septimus, Severus, John Blank, Ira Aldridge, Mary Prince, and Mary Seacole, Lord Kitchener, and Benjamin Zephaniah. They have already told our stories. Stop referring to us as hard to reach. We're not asking you to wade deep or walk on waters. We're not asking you to turn water into wine or roll back the stone because we are alive. We rise early in the fold of the morning. We're in the corner of your eyes as you rush to work. We're the same people returning home, next door, in the edge of the night. We're not asking you to walk an extra mile. We can simply be found in the land of love your neighbor, or walk through the doors of when you cry, I cry, and enter the clearing of five loaves and two fishes when served with love, Ah, oh, love that knows no boundary, no heights, no depths, no lengths, to find he, she, or they, wherever they can be found. Huh. Please, please, please stop referring to us as hard to reach.
For me personally, it's about joining the dots, us coming together, and um, the black community on the whole, getting an understanding that we are here to help them as well. It's not an us and them situation. It's everybody playing their part and making sure that the right treatment for the right medical conditions or diseases or so on are dealt with in an equitable way. For the wider community, too often our voices and experience are not included. And that's really important if we want to change that. To participate and to be included is key. So hopefully the impact will show researchers how um, quality research can be done, um, especially involving um, the communities from the start in the design and the approach. Um, too often uh, they come at the last stages, uh, the, their involvement is too late to have any influence. Hopefully the findings will mean greater understanding, greater dialogue between communities and the professions and it will mean better intervention and prevention strategies around healthcare. I sincerely hope this is not going to gather dust on the shelves. I've been involved in a lot of research and this one strikes me as one which if the powers that be, the policy makers, the people who have the purse strings and so on, really take on board the findings in this research, it can go far away in terms of making a real difference in terms of the quality of care that is delivered within the National Service, within communities for African Caribbean, or as we would say, black people. There's, there's a level of exclusion of people from the African diaspora. So this was important to actually address those and look at the reasons why people may not get involved and how uh, researchers can look to involve the black African diaspora communities in research going forward. Our health is our wealth and that involves everybody. The findings of this research unveiled four key areas in which we can work on to create a more inclusive health and care research system. And those four key areas are around looking at the organisational cultures that may be preventing relationships from forming with black communities. It's about getting the balance right and making sure as researchers and funders and policymakers, we don't lose sight of the human elements of health and care research in our processes, strategies and targets. And that we place more value on strengthening ties with black communities. And that may mean creating more space to do this, as well as creating a stronger culture of openness to talking about racism and encouraging researchers to integrate more into underserved communities so that they become familiar, relatable and trustworthy. And that could mean changing policies, practices and behaviors to create more equal power dynamics so that health and care research is not just for those who are more privileged in society, but for everyone. Stop. 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 Stop referring to us as hard to reach. Stop referring to us as hard to reach. Stop referring to us as hard to reach. Please, please, please stop referring to us as hard to reach.